Adobe Podcast AI leverages the power of artificial intelligence to revolutionize podcasting. You can access it at podcast.adobe.com. And it is included in the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Here on the website, you can see we have three main options. We have Enhanced Speech, Mic Check, and Studio. First off, let's go check out Enhanced Speech, which is arguably my favorite feature, something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for different projects. Basically, I can drag in any audio clip that I want, and it's going to make it sound really good. For this example, I actually recorded audio on my iPhone. And it doesn't sound terrible, but it doesn't sound studio-esque. Let's listen to the original audio file. I'm currently recording this on my iPhone. You know, the microphone's not terrible, but with Adobe Podcast, it's going to sound significantly better. There's a little bit of noise in the background. It's maybe a little tinny. It's not really something you'd wanna to listen to when it comes to a full length podcast. Once you upload it, it's going to basically give you this slider and you can actually adjust just how much processing is going to be done to the clip. By default, it's set to 90% strength. So let's go ahead and listen to what it did. I'm currently recording this on my iPhone. You know, the microphone's not terrible, but with Adobe Podcast, it's going to sound significantly better. So yes, it is heavily processed, but what I will say is it cuts out that background noise and it feels a little more deliberate, a little more like uh, this could pass for a podcast. Now it is up at 90%. So let's say we just drop it down to 50. Let's give it a listen. I'm currently recording this on my iPhone. You know, the microphone's not terrible, but with Adobe Podcast, it's going to sound significantly better. So yeah, that's a better middle ground. You know, it still has a little more of that iPhone feel to it, but it doesn't feel like it was super processed, which is actually not a bad look. Again, this is with an iPhone. So if you actually have like a Blue Yeti or something like that, this is really going to take it to a whole new level. But I've used it in different video projects where maybe there was some background noise or maybe it didn't sound like uh, I was actually having the microphone close enough to the subject. And this came in clutch time and time again. And now there's a new premium feature. We can actually just throw videos in here and get really good, clean audio. I recommend that if you are a content creator, take the extra second, export just the audio from your video and run it through this because the results are pretty damn good. The next option here is mic check. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press this button and I'm going to say, how is my microphone set up and placement? And it's going to determine if I'm too far, too close, if there's too much gain, not enough gain, background noise, echo, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. How is my microphone set up and placement? It's telling me to turn down the gain, which I can see. I definitely have my microphone set a little bit higher, but I, I just prefer it that way. Uh, and then distance is good, no background noise, which makes sense because I have a noise gate set up. And then echo, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, however, I do think this is a good test for people that aren't uh, super technologically advanced. They don't really know what they're doing, but they wanna have a podcast. It's a good little reminder. Make sure everything sounds uh, as, as good as possible. Finally, we have studio. This is arguably the most important feature of Adobe Podcast for most people. Uh, basically, it is a built-in podcast studio on the web. This right here is the sample project that they include. And what I think is cool about this is it actually distinguishes between multiple voices. So we can see who's talking and I can press a word and skip to that part of the recording. And there's a whole bunch of different things we can do here. We can add in different filters like the enhanced speech. We could add placeholders, which we can see right here, uh, music, upload, things like that. And we can actually invite guests and download and share and all that all within this web app. What's cool about this is that you can come in and be like, you know what, um, this, yeah, I don't like this. And boom, it's going to cut that portion out of the podcast. So instead of having to go and listen back, you can actually just read the transcript and edit your podcast visually, which is awesome. So the invite guest feature literally grants the ability to record podcast episodes with remote guests, even if they face challenges with their internet connection. Uh, basically, it achieves this by capturing each participant's audio as individual tracks in 16-bit 48K wave format, ensuring professional grade audio consistency, which is just so cool. The music feature is awesome as well. I can just come in here, add an intro. I know it's gonna play exactly where I want it and I, I can make it shorter. I can fade it in, out, set it as background music instead. And that to me is game changer. So if you are looking to start a podcast, this is arguably the best way to go about editing it because it's all done in the cloud via a web app. You can invite your guests and make sure that their audio quality is gonna be awesome. The transcript is auto-generated and you know who's talking at what time, and you could actually just edit like you would a normal document. 
and you can add your music, download it, bada bing, bada boom. There you go. That is Adobe Podcast, which is still in beta. However, it is available if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, which if you don't, you could use our link down below in the description. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.